So I thought I'd talk a little bit about probably the biggest mistake that people tend to make when they come and become uh, new Linux programmers. When I mean Linux programmers, I mean as in like uh, as in shell script programmers, right? And uh, not as in uh, I don't know uh, as in a C programmer, for example. So I'll talk about this rather than this, uh, and that is that they use awk but they use it with double quotes. Now this is probably the biggest mistake that people make in shell scripting and it's a big mistake for a couple of reasons. So when you use awk normally everybody knows basically what you do is you do uh, the condition so it's like I don't know dollar sign one equals equals five or something and then you put in uh, curly braces what you want it to do something like print I don't know, ASDF or something. And we could do like LSBLK and then, you know, it's obviously not going to put anything. But let's say LSBLK and then equals SDA, for example. Or a better way of doing this would be like uh, SD star. And then basically it's going to print out the lines or it's going to print the. There you go. So you put a dollar sign and then the field that you want to print. However, you might have noticed if you ever tried this that when you're putting double quotes it doesn't work. Why is this? Well, you can see that technically it has still worked, but what's actually happened is this dollar sign has been evaluated by the shell. If I do echo dollar sign one, you'll notice nothing's there, but if I replace these Oh, I'm trying to use Vim macros, it doesn't work. Uh if I do this then you can see it doesn't get interpreted. We want awk to interpret this dollar sign, not the shell. So we have to tell the shell to stop being annoying and stop getting in the way and uh, replace these with single quotes. And uh, this is the biggest mistake I see people make. Uh, it's really easy to avoid. So just, it's a simple one character fix. Just stop doing it.